whole goal for the season was pretty much to make the Olympic team. We get four spots for U.S. to go to Russia, so just got to get in that top four overall. You woke up, you did practice, you competed, flew somewhere else, woke up, practiced, competed. I felt like that was all life was, was just riding these slope style courses and doing tricks for people and then judging you. And this is our top qualifier coming out of America. It went just kind of up and down the whole year. Oh, I can't believe I fell on those two tricks. It's been like the most hectic start to the season. It was supposed to be one in Tahoe, got canceled, went back to Breck, got canceled in Breck. The Grand Prix at Breckenridge has been canceled. That's the thing is the Olympics, they uh, they just said slope style, you're in. Then it's like, oh, like what if it's bad weather? We don't know. Because the event before it canceled, they put three events in one week. It was supposed to only be two. Dave Kaffenberg in second. There's two contests in one day, and I'm going to second in both of them. We're here again at the bottom with another second place. I was like, cool, I pretty much essentially made the team unless some like weird scenario happened. And we were told by the U.S. team that Sage essentially has to win tomorrow now uh, to make the U.S. team. When you're faced with, yeah, you're probably not, you're not going to go if you don't win. It, I was like, oh man, this is so gnarly actually. Probably one of the riders with the most weight on his shoulders here. A successful run here today could mean the difference between him going to Sochi to represent the United States in slope style and staying home and watching from TV. There's a relief, I think, dropping in. The best thing is just to go actually ride and do something about it. Like, okay, well, the only thing I can do right now is go snowboard. One of the riders' favorites to watch on the slope style course, Sage Kotzenberg, brings an individual style to it that is starting to become missing from slope style. And the big question is, is it enough to put Sage Kotzenberg in the driver's seat? And Kotzenberg's score comes in at a 95.40, and Sage goes into first. We're going to Russia, baby. Stout. Pretty sick crew going to Sochi. I took that whole ride to the Olympics with me. Go to Team USA. Hashtag Road to Sochi. Go to Sochi. Go to Sochi. Go to Sochi. Go to Sochi. Welcome to Sochi. We should be practicing, but we're getting past. Kind of was so happy just to be there and that I just conjured up the craziest run I could put down. I was like, maybe I'll put a 16 in the run. No, it's a very technical trick. After all this stress and everything and finally making it just to perhaps throw it away with trying a trick that you never even tried. And uh, that ended up being the best choice in my whole entire life. And the first ever to win slope style gold is an American. Sage Kotzenberg put in the first gold medal of the Winter Games in the USA column and doing it with a trick he had never tried before. I remember landing and coming out of the transition just in full shock and then looking up and then the stadium just went nuts. Sage Kotzenberg! Yeah! Look at this thing! That was the craziest experience of my life. Cannot believe that just happened. They told me I was going to New York. He brought home the first gold medal for Team USA, and now he's bringing it here to Times Square. Sochi one day, Times Square the next day. Pretty next level of business. And uh, yeah, we got to New York, did a whole media frenzy. I'm about to go to Good Morning America right now. And he won with style, executing a trick he invented. He won the first gold medal of the games for slope style snowboarding. He's also the favorite to win Gangnam Style uh, snowboarding. I can't even count how many interviews and TV shows, it was crazy. I literally couldn't walk 10 feet without people coming up, just walking around the streets. Oh, what a great job. It was weird, it kind of weirded me out, you know? This stuff's awesome, it's like so much fun, but it's just, it's just not where I really belong. I just wanted so badly to go snowboarding in. And so once that ended, it felt I felt like I was finally back to where I belonged almost. It was back to Sage snowboarding. That's all I am, I'm just a snowboarder.
couple of days after the mountain closed, we got to hit this huge jump. It was made to just session, and that was that's what we did. We just took to that thing and made it ours. It was just the perfect end of the season that I, I wouldn't have wanted any other way than to just be riding with my friends at Park City. It was awesome. It was definitely a roller coaster year. There was a lot of ups and downs. Ended with a nice up. It was the year of my life. It was everything I could dream of.